if you say so. Yeah. All right. So not a Seinfeld guy, huh? Nope. Why? What? What is it? You don't find it funny? I don't I just, find. I don't it's find just kind of like many. before my time, I guess. I never had a reason to watch it outside of that. The theme song sounds kind of funny. Yep. Right. Huh. Like is that? Yeah. So, so uh, well, I'm just trying to. Have you never given it a chance, or you or you have and you don't just find it funny? No, I've never even given it a, like a, a consideration. Oh, okay. Interesting. Is it worth it? I mean, I think it is. I mean. You know, their clothes are dated now. It's definitely a show from the 90s, but I think... That's fine. I think Friends is more dated in the 90s in the way they talk and stuff. Like, Seinfeld stuff is still pretty funny. Dude, I guess I'm just not a huge sitcom guy. Like, the laugh tracks are just <clears throat> so, yeah, like... I'm not a ugh. sitcom guy either. There is no laugh tracks, though. In Seinfeld, there's no, no laugh track? No. It's oh, thank God. Those make me, like, sick to my stomach. I mean, laugh tracks were kind of gone by, like, the mid-80s. Were they? I yeah. don't think so. I don't think who, so. Who, is, who uses laugh tracks? Friends. No, they don't. I don't know. I feel like they do. Young Sheldon. I mean, if you, so you, all right, but you, I think you're confusing a live audience as opposed to like something like The Office that's a mockumentary that has no, that doesn't have a laugh track, but it's also not filmed in front of a live audience. Like Big Bang Theory and Friends and Seinfeld, they're filmed in front of a live audience. Right. But if you go back to like the 70s, like the Brady Bunch, that's a laugh track. They're not filmed in front of a live right. audience. They just have audio of people laughing that they I mean, I, I just stayed know, up yeah. at appropriate Those times. Those shows where Friends was <laughs> filmed in front of audiences all the time? Yeah. Dude, I, I just know that like the whole that's point cool. of comedy is that like something happens that you're not expecting. And if there's like a clear moment where you're supposed to laugh, like they say something and then there's a pause and then there's a laugh track. Like, that just kills it for me. Like, I'm not laughing if the audience is laughing. That's, that's, <laughs> that's weird. Oh, I love Fro. No, I get it, though. You know what I mean? Like, yep. it just makes it less ironic. I don't know what the words yep. I'm looking yeah, but for there's, are. But like, like, there's a scene in Seinfeld where, like, their most famous episode is they're basically trying to see who can go the longest without masturbating. And <laughs> What? Yeah. It's called The Contest. That's the name of the episode. And Kramer's the first one out because they see a naked girl across the way. And all four of them are watching, and he just leaves. And he goes across the hall and then because he lives across the hall from Jerry. Yeah. He goes across the hall, and they talk a little bit more. And then he comes in with his money. He slams it on the counter. He says, I'm out. And, like, the whole place erupts in laughter because it's <laughs> hilarious. Like, right. if he does that and nobody laughs, it's not funny. I don't know. I think that could still be funny. Oh, man. Yeah, but the fact that people are like falling down laughing in hysteria when he does it, like, makes the that that's part of why it's such a classic scene. I don't know. I just don't know. Like, maybe I'm just used to watching comedy where there's no laugh track. Like, I just like when the jokes are back to back to back. You gotta stop saying laugh track because it's not a laugh track. Okay, it's, when there when there's people's laugh, genuine when laughter. There's laughing. Yeah, it's people's genuine laughter. I mean, a laugh track is fabricated laughing. Yeah, but I don't see how that makes it funnier. Like, if there's it just doesn't. a bunch of jokes back to back to back, that's know, much but, funnier. Okay, but what I'm saying is. You are correct with the laugh track, and that's why they got rid of it, and right. that's why they film in front of a live audience. When you film in front of a live audience, people, so you're saying so like, maybe he's saying they, they they say, oh, it's their cue to laugh, so they laugh. That's what I'm saying. Like that's what he's okay, trying so, to say. All right, but when you go to see a stand-up comedian, are you saying you would prefer nobody laughs in the audience? Well, I'm gonna do you one better and say stand-up comedy is generally not that funny. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Except for George Carlin. Shout out Carlin. <laughs> Fro is awesome. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, just dropping uh, hotter and hotter takes by the day. I mean, uh, yeah, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. What happened? Hit it. Uh, there you go. I yeah. want to fight you right now. Why? <laughs> How do you not like stand-up comedy? Well, give me some examples, and maybe I'll watch it and come back, reconsider. Watch TikTok. That's not funny. You literally have clips from stand-up so comedians. Do you like... Do you like uh, more of a reality, co like 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 the. Three no, he likes SpongeBob and The Incredibles. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like South Park too. It's not like I'm just watching kids shows. Like there's plenty of shows for all ages. I mean, what, no are the, laughing. what are the three guys from Boston that go and do all that stuff? Like uh, everybody watches. Oh, it. impractical. Yeah, impractical. Uh, see, jokers. I don't like them at all. So what about really? something like that? Well, that's yeah. funny because it's real. You know what I mean? Right. Is it? Do you... it's real enough. It's enough to convince me, I guess. Okay, right. but, I mean, it's a fabricated situation. It's not real. So, but you think that's funny, though? Yeah, I do too. 
I think that's hilarious, actually. <laughs> See that kind of humor for some reason. Yeah, I like that humor too. I, do. I think it's I think it's pretty good. <laughs> that too. humor and like a lot of Sasha Baron Cohen's humor, or like putting, um, intentionally putting people in awkward and uncomfortable situations. It's funny as hell. Yeah, I don't find that funny. Oh, it is so funny. Yeah, it does, my sister's a huge fan of that. And she's like, I, you got to watch it. You would love it. And I watched uh, it and I said, nah, I don't know why that doesn't. I, I, well, doesn't but you're saying it. it's scripted though. Like then what's the, <clears> you know what I mean? Like what's the harm if it's scripted? Like, is it actually scripted? I don't, Say that again now. Weren't you just saying that it was like scripted? Still scripted. You were yeah. saying, well, it's still scripted. Is well, it's, it real? No, I'm saying it's a fat. I'm not, it, their reaction is real, but it's a fabricated. You're, you're saying it's real. It's, I mean, their reaction is real, but it's a fabricated situation. What does that mean? I don't know what that means. It means well, that they wouldn't be in that situation if Impractical Jokers didn't go there and intentionally set it up. Yeah, but, you know, when they're at Foxwoods Bingo <clears throat> Hall and, and doing that with all the old ladies yeah. and just pissing them off and they are getting pissed. Well, keep in mind. I I'm, mean, it's funny yeah, as I'm hell, pretty sure right? they have to go up to the person after and confirm whether or not they can be on the air, right? Like, isn't that they the whole deal of it? They have to do that. They yeah. have to. They have all these hidden cameras. And, you know, you've if, have you guys ever been to Bingo? No. Oh, yeah. that f ladies get pissed. Yeah, they're hardcore, huh? <laughs> Dude. Yeah. Mad. I don't know. I just feel like they don't they don't do enough like practical humor with the people where it's like physically uncomfortable for them where I can feel that bad for them. They'll just have like some <sighs> stupid sign and be mm. like, help me. Like there's so many scenarios like that. I really feel like um Seinfeld's humor you would find funny because they don't Typically, I'm going to be honest. I never gave it a shot either. Really? I never was interested in watching it. Honestly, wow. though, after hearing that episode synopsis, it might be worth. I didn't realize they did plus oh, they like have, that. They have so many great, like there's, what's great about Seinfeld is there's no, there's no like, um, the, you know, that they, they have this cliche. It's a, it's, it's a show about nothing, but like, it's all about what's funny. And like, there's no resolution at the end of the story it's when the joke's over then that's it like when it stops being funny you know like i'm trying to think of an example of uh like a sitcom in the 80s where um whatever somebody got a flat tire and then it was this struggle to get the tire fixed and then at the end it's fixed and everybody's okay and there's a happy moment like in seinfeld they go to get the tire fixed and the and the the mechanic's a psycho and he steals the car and it like, and then when the jokes are over, the episode ends. Like there's no, no I, yeah, I get, I get what you're saying. It's, it's gag based. The story yeah. is just an excuse for them to deliver the gags. It, exactly. Just exactly. like SpongeBob. Right. Okay. If you say so, yeah, because yeah. you're the you're the resident expert on that. Do yeah. you watch a lot of SpongeBob? Uh, only the early stuff. Early stuff. I watch it every morning. Really? Wh which ones though? Because they're like completely different eras of SpongeBob. Well, I don't want to go I, off I on some unhinged SpongeBob uh, rant here, but like the early SpongeBob stuff, there well, is adult content in there. Like well, there's stuff that adults will laugh at. Well, it's on Nick every morning. So yeah. my my JJ loves SpongeBob. My sister made me she made it seem like SpongeBob is like it wasn't like Sesame Street. Like you had to be a certain age before you could watch SpongeBob. Right. Is well, there true? there are some moments know. Yeah, they they are a little uh yeah, there's like there's definitely some raunchier episodes of SpongeBob. Like obviously it's not enough where they can't show it on Nickelodeon, but like there are some there's some episodes where they like go on a panty raid. Wow. And I yeah. was just like, whoa, like Yeah, I think P. Diddy's in that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh Jesus. Too soon. <laughs> wow. Oh, all the memes on Facebook are funny as hell. He's, aren't in, they? he's in a lot of problems. Holy yeah. shit. He's in a lot of shit. Literally. Yep. <laughs> But yeah, Sid, I mean, I'll give Seinfeld a chance, honestly. If you're recommending it this heavily, I'll give so, it a chance. So what you, episode should I watch? Um, so I like... Um, Pretty much the masturbation one would be a good one. I mean, the contest is... <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm sure you can relate. The contest, uh, the mango, anything from like season three through season six is their wheelhouse. So it falls off. It, it falls off. Well, season seven is okay. That's when George is engaged. <laughs> And so, and he's a neurotic loser. <laughs> so that's pretty good. Oh. After season seven, Larry David leaves. He was like the head writer and co-producer. Oh yeah, that's bad. Whenever that happens, and for so a show. when he leaves, then they do two more seasons, and it, it's okay after that. But, but three, three to six is by far the best. <laughs> Dude, Diego, you're.
dying over there. No, because I can see you watching the masturbation one. You might even be part of that show. It'd be great. <laughs> what? <laughs>